Alrighty then, let's show you how to set up a garrison. These are your drill grounds. Click that button and you see where it says formation setting. Click that. And what you have here are a bunch of formations you could set up. First formation I use is always my best troops with no artillery. We'll add, actually I'm going to leave it here. Right now I have a buff on. My normal cap is 158,000 troops. So I'm going to leave my main march at 158,000. I'm not going to add the extra troops because they're not usually available. I also set up a second march where it's pretty much an even number with about 20% artillery. I don't want to go... Yeah, we have about 10,000 artillery. Usually that's a good number. If you think of a normal battle, you don't have that many cannons. So about 10%, 20%, somewhere in there, you have some cannons. This is very important for things like the beast, because when you get the beast, cannons really make a difference. You want a balanced number of troops on him. So that's my second one. My third one, now that I have my buff on, and I'll show you how to choose the heroes. When you choose a hero, you get all your heroes up here. And what you look for is the highest level and the highest march capacity. Pretty simple. Um, you could go crazy with looking at what their actual skills are. 40% chance of dealing damage. So she's really good at that. Some people like Barnaby, he's defense. Like if you look at his skills, you don't really see it here. If you unlock the last skill, when he's garrisoned and he's on your wall, he gives you 40% on the estate. So 40% extra de defense by using him. There's better, higher players later, but for right now where we're at, Barnaby is your guy on the wall. And you could pick other, you know, other you know, heroes, it's all numbers at that point. You know, look for the numbers, look for somebody who's, if you see, I have the most distance troops, so you'll want somebody that's good at distance. But for right now, I'm only looking at march capacity, so I'm going to pick Felicia first, and then I'm going to look for my second one, and it'll be Phoebus. Phoebus? Phoebus. He's got 12,000 troops, so that's an extra 12,000 troops above what I can normally march. So that's a huge difference. I have a buff on right now, which gives me even more troops. So that's going to raise the total number. So I want to add all my high levels first. Now, for this one, we're doing the same thing we did on 1 and 2, but it's just bigger numbers. You know, because I have more troops. I have 165,000 troops available to me. So three is always going to be my attack when I have buffs on. Four, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to pick Felicia. We're going to pick Phoebus. All the best troops and all the artillery. Now you look, I don't go crazy upgrading artillery. So I try and keep all my troops at the same level or within a level of my top. I don't like having like right here, I have a level one troop and that kills me. I'm going to have to upgrade them as soon as I can. Level 3 troops, level 5 troops. I want all my troops to be around the same level right now. I want them to be 8 or 7. So as I train, and we'll show you that in a separate video, um, I'm going to level up my troops. I'm not going to raise more. So let's finish doing this. I'm going to get my infantry on here. Distance. Oh wait, I missed one. Take that back. See the way it's not full? I definitely want to fill up that one. So I got my artillery I'm going to leave alone because that's about 10, 20%. So I really don't want only 31,000 infantry. So I'm going to lower the cavalry. You want the numbers to be a, more even. So I have 34,000. 45,000. I'll probably lower this a little bit. 
and get some more infantry here. So the numbers kind of, you want an even march. That's what you want 99% of the time. Sometimes you'll tweak that. Don't worry about that. You'll learn that as the game goes on. And hit save. Now, when you go into war, and this isn't going to work for me right now because I'm building. If you look here, I'm constructing a building. So not all of my troops are home. So if I go to say attack these ghosts and attack, all I have to do is hit the number one and it's going to set up that formation. Or if I want to add artillery, I'll hit two or four. Um, plain and simple. Right now, if you see, there's 100,000 of my troops from my level one march. There's 120,000 of those troops that I picked. They're out busy, they're working. Um, normally this will be set up exactly the way you saw it on the other screen. And you'll see my airship isn't in my camp, so that won't show up on here either. All right, if you have any questions, you know where I am. Have a good one.